This is Larry Jordan. Now I want to talk about some of the new features inside SmartSound's Sonic Fire Pro 5. These are in two broad categories. An incredibly exciting new way of searching called sensory searching and an ability to find songs by tempo and more importantly to change the tempo so it works the way that you want. Let's take a look at sensory searching first. Let's say that we select a fusion category from the style menu by simply clicking on it and we have six different pieces of music and we play that piece of music. By the way, you can double click it to play it or you can hit the right pointing arrow to play it or you can hit the space bar to play it. Whatever you like. So we've got these six songs and let's say that um, Okay, let's say that's the one we like, except it's a little on the slow side. If we go down to this Advanced Find button, the Sensory Search button, I can say, find me a song that's faster. And it finds me a song that's faster. Or, find me a song that's even faster yet. And it finds one that's faster. Or I say, wait a minute, let's find me one that's just like, more like this, something similar to this. And it finds even stuff I haven't found earlier. It goes out to other albums and pulls them in. For instance, Smooth Cruise. Or Fine Precision. Or Rewards from an entirely different album. Well, that's kind of cool, except maybe the same composer's got something that's something totally different, but, you know, in the same feeling. So I can find by the same composer. And I can say, well, maybe let's try the same intensity. Instead of having to search by descriptive words, carefree, dramatic, sinister, threatening, I can now start searching based upon, well, I like the way this sounds, find me something more like it, or make it just a little bit faster, or... Give me something from the same composer or with the same intensity. An entirely different way of looking at the music based upon the way it sounds rather than a descriptive term. In fact, let's go back up to all of our music here. Let's go style and all 21 styles. If we find everything, we can sort by clicking on the title and find sort by title, or we can group it by all the albums we have installed, or we can group by intensity. Double click, by the way, to have it be in descending order. So it's ascending or descending. We can sort by tempo. In fact, this tempo is actually kind of cool. Let's find something. I've got it prepared here. It's called August Autumn. There it is. Autumn Road. has a tempo of 110 beats a minute. Let's play this. We'll hit the space bar. This is another new feature that's really quite nice. It's called the Tap Tempo Search Tool. Here's how it works. Imagine that you've got a tempo in your head and you're starting to tap out a beat with your foot. Well, match that beat as you tap. For instance, one, two, three, four, five. Every one of these pieces of music is at the same tempo that you were tapping out. You want something a little bit brisker, so type tap a little faster. One, two, three, four, five. Or you want something a little bit slower. One, two, three, four, five. This can be a very useful tool when you can envision the pacing, but you don't know exactly what that number is. Just tap it into the tap selection tool and it shows up. This button here allows me to go backward through searches so I can go where I was or go back where I... It's like a web browser, except it's remembering your searches so that I want to go back too because I... Re... Let's go just click this left and right arrow. But, oh yes, I was talking about tempo. I get so easily distracted. This whole bottom row here has just got some tremendous things in it. So let's go find Autumn again. 
Let's go find everybody here. And let's go find Autumn. And it's got a tempo of 110. Well, at this rate, if we look up here, it's 110 beats per minute. It takes two seconds and five frames to set up a block of four beats. This is a wonderful number to know, because if you're building a slideshow or you want to cut to the beat of the music, if every one of your shots is 205, you will automatically be on the downbeat of the music without even having to recognize what a downbeat is. But maybe this is just a little bit fast. Well, if I go to the tempo button, I can create a new tempo. And I can speed this up or slow it down. I can make it 20% slower or 20% faster. And what it will do is it will change the timing of the music, but not change the pitch. Or I could change the pitch and not change the beat. I've already done this because it takes a couple minutes to calculate. I've set it from its normal beat per minute of 110 to a new beat per minute of 88. And now when I play it, listen to the difference. First, let's hear the original source. You get that in your head. Spacebar to playing. Okay, now let's switch our tempo. I've made it dramatic so you can hear the difference. Isn't that amazing? If you've got the right piece of music, and it's the right feeling, and it's just almost, but not quite, the right tempo, you can click on this tempo and change it to be whatever you want. Now, just as, a, as an oh, by the way, it's really important not to slow it down too much or speed it up too much, because you're going to totally deform the music, and, and small children will look at you with quizzical expressions. You want to avoid that. So keep it within 20% of 100% speed, 0.8 to 1.2. If you need to delete the tempo file, just click Delete, and all those tempo files are gone. There is amazing power inside this version of Sonic Fire Pro 5, and I encourage you to play with it and discover how easy it is to search for your music and modify your music and find exactly the right music that you need for your projects. But there's still more to talk about, because we've got a whole different interface we haven't even seen yet. That is coming up next. <laughs>